If you believe we're facing a serious climate crisis now, watching this video will help you gain perspective by comparing it to the challenges people endured during previous extreme climate epochs in the past. Did you know that climate scientists have identified four extreme climate epochs over the past 2,000 years? These distinct periods are the Roman Warm Period, the Dark Ages Cold Period, the Medieval Warm Period, and the most recent, the Little Ice Age, which we will explore in this video. Welcome back to Extreme Weather History, where we explore the fascinating and impactful climatic events that have shaped our world. The Little Ice Age, which lasted from about 1300 to 1850, had widespread effects across the world, not just in Europe and North America. Let's take a closer look at some of the intriguing historical events that occurred during this time. In Europe, the Little Ice Age brought about colder winters, leading to significant challenges for communities. Glaciers encroached on farms and villages in the Swiss Alps during the mid-17th century, resulting in their destruction. The Baltic Sea froze over twice, in 1303 and 1307, and years of unseasonably cold weather followed, along with storms and a rise in the level of the Caspian Sea. Canals and rivers in Great Britain and the Netherlands frequently froze, allowing for ice skating and winter festivals. The famous River Thames Frost Fairs became a tradition during this period. The winter of 1795 was particularly harsh, with the French invasion army marching on frozen rivers in the Netherlands and the Dutch fleet locked in the ice in Den Helder Harbour. Iceland experienced sea ice surrounding its shores, leading to a significant population decline. Cereal crop failures and a shift away from a grain-based diet impacted the region. The Norse colonies in Greenland vanished by the early 15th century due to crop failures and harsh winters, with ice cutting them off from the outside world. Greenland was largely cut off by ice from 1410 to the 1720s. Lisbon, Portugal experienced more frequent snowstorms than today, and one winter in the 17th century produced eight snowstorms. Many springs and summers were cold and wet, but with great variability between years and groups of years. The Grindelwald fluctuation is a term used to refer to a specific period in this wider cooling phenomenon when the glaciers in Grindelwald, Switzerland expanded significantly. Temperatures were 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, lower than 20th century averages during this period, which is thought to have lasted from the 1560s to the 1630s. The Little Ice Age resulted in famines in various European countries, with significant loss of population in France, Norway, Sweden, Estonia and Finland during the late 17th century. Viticulture disappeared from some northern regions, and storms caused serious flooding and loss of life, resulting in the permanent loss of large areas of land from the Danish, German and Dutch coasts. The colder climate during the Little Ice Age might have influenced the density of wood used by the famous violin maker Antonio Stradivari, contributing to the unique tone of his instruments. Social and political consequences The Little Ice Age had profound social and political consequences for various societies. European peasants faced famines, hypothermia and bread riots, while despotic leaders took advantage of their hardships. On the other hand, the Dutch Republic thrived during the Little Ice Age using their adaptability to exploit new opportunities in commerce and conflict, leading to the Dutch Golden Age. Unfortunately, not all societies fared as well. The extended periods of cold and dry weather during the Little Ice Age had severe implications for European communities. Historians suggest that in response to the increased hardships, some cultural reactions in Europe took the form of violent scapegoating. The Little Ice Age witnessed the resurgence of witchcraft trials where European populations started associating magic with weather manipulation. The systematic witch hunts began in the 1430s and gained widespread belief by the 1480s with many holding witches accountable for the adverse weather conditions. Across the Atlantic, the Little Ice Age also had a significant impact on North America. Early European explorers and settlers encountered exceptionally severe winters, causing hardships and the collapse of some early settlements. For instance, when colonists settled at Jamestown, they faced one of the coldest periods in the last 1,000 years, and the region experienced a severe drought that lasted for several years. Because the Little Ice Age took place during the European colonization of the Americas, it discouraged many early colonizers, 
who had expected the climate of North America to be similar to the climate of Europe at similar latitudes. The Little Ice Age also had distinct effects on other regions around the world. In Australia, it was characterized by humid, rainy climates, followed by drying and aridification in the 19th century. In Jiangxi Province, China, crops like oranges, which had been cultivated for centuries, were forsaken due to the impact of changing weather patterns. Furthermore, in Guangdong, two periods characterized by frequent typhoon strikes coincided with the coldest and driest phases in northern and central China. Some scholars have proposed that the fall of the Ming dynasty might have been partly attributed to the droughts and famines triggered by the Little Ice Age. Between the 14th and 19th centuries, the African climate underwent significant effects from the Little Ice Age. While variations occurred across the continent, there was an overall trend of decreasing temperatures, resulting in an average cooling of 1 degree Celsius. Tree ring data from South America show cold episodes coinciding with the Little Ice Age events in the Northern Hemisphere. It has been suggested that all glaciers of Gran Campo Nevado, next to the Strait of Magellan, reached their largest extent in the last 12,000 years during the Little Ice Age. The Ottoman Little Ice Age, spanning from the early 14th century to the mid-19th century, marked a significant period of cooling in the Northern Hemisphere. In February 1621, the Bosphorus Strait in Istanbul experienced total freezing. The Ottoman Empire took nearly a century to recover fully from this climatic event, and even then it remained considerably weakened due to substantial population loss. Sea level data for the Pacific Islands suggest that sea level in the region fell, possibly in two stages, between 1270 and 1475. Independent multi-proxy analyses on Easter Island indicate that the Rapa Nui civilization started to decline with this beginning of the Little Ice Age from 1570 to 1720. At this point, it becomes clear that the Little Ice Age was a global event, though its actual minimum occurred at varying times in different regions. The lingering question remains, what truly caused this phenomenon? Was it purely natural, or was there a human factor at play? Before delving into the various theories, it's crucial to highlight an intriguing occurrence amidst the Little Ice Age an 11-month mega-drought and record-breaking high temperatures in the year 1540. The current climate scientists have no clear explanation about the possible causes for this drought occurring in the middle of a cooling epoch, which indicates that quite often we just have no idea why the climate changes. We discussed the 1540 mega-drought in our previous video, so be sure to check it out for more insights. Scientists have proposed several possible causes of the Little Ice Age, including orbital cycles, decreased solar activity, increased volcanic activity, altered ocean currents, and fluctuations in human population affecting reforestation or deforestation. Finally, one of the most compelling explanations is the inherent variability of climate. Climate does exhibit cyclic changes, but as we observed earlier, even within a given cycle, abrupt shifts in the opposite direction can occur. In our view, the wisest approach is to acknowledge the inherent variability of climate, anticipate future surprises, and express gratitude for the fact that we currently enjoy one of the most favourable climatic conditions of the last 2,000 years. The Little Ice Age, as we have explored, serves as a profound reminder that climate change is not a new phenomenon. Throughout history, our planet has experienced various shifts in climate, ranging from warm periods to cold epochs and these fluctuations have shaped human societies in remarkable ways. While the Little Ice Age brought about challenges, it also underscores the resilience of humanity in the face of adversity. The Dutch Golden Age, as we mentioned earlier, is a prime example of how adaptability and foresight enabled societies to flourish even during times of climate-driven transformations. As we continue to explore the annals of weather history, stay tuned for more intriguing stories here on Extreme Weather History. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to join us on this fascinating journey.